Hello. Welcome back to brand new video. So in this video, uh, we are going to install a database, post this SQL database and uh, connect this database with our web app. So before continuing this video, there is one disclaimer and disclaimer is that we are not going to use GUI version of uh, PostgreSQL because in this video we are going to use our terminal for installation of our database for the initialization of our database like first of all I will install my database into my Ubuntu after that I will create my database and uh, also I will create my database uh, users and this whole process will be go on through this terminal because we are not going to use GUI version uh, because if you work with production level then you know we have lot of things like when we work on production then we have totally one terminal and we need to maintain everything setting up our database connecting our database with our web app everything we need to manage with the help of our terminal so that's why in this video we are going to install database PostgreSQL database and uh, create our new database, create our new user and uh, give privilege of our database to the our main user and after that we will connect this PostgreSQL database with our web app. So everything will be managed through this terminal. So I am into my main, ter main terminal. First of all you will ignore my all terminal terminals. You can see I have opened lot of terminals. Uh, this is just because I am working with uh, some projects like in some terminal I am composing my docker files and in some terminals uh, I am using my salary services and my servers are also ongoing so that's why I have opened lot of terminals but you don't need to worry about this you just need to focus on our main terminal everything we will going to manage through this terminal so first of all I am going to making it some zoom so you can see everything clearly so you can see uh, our terminal is zoom first of all you know i am an ubuntu so first of all i am going to use sudo apt update and uh, sudo apt update first of all i am going to update my dependencies and uh, if you are using sudo you need to type your root password so this is our root password and uh, first of all i am going to update my ubuntu after that we need to install so just wait until all this updating process will be complete so just give it time all right our updates are done now first of all i am going to clear my terminal after that now i am going to install our postgresql so for this we are using going to use sudo apt install first of all we need to type postgresql and uh, after that we need to add one more dependency which is our postgresql contrib so i am going to use postgre uh, sql minus contrib so we are going to install two packages first one is our postgresql and the second one is postgresql contrib and it will be automatically install the latest version of our postgres and hit enter it will be automatically install both of our dependencies but in my case it uh, simply tell PostgreSQL is already in the newest version because I already installed my PostgreSQL 16 into my Ubuntu but in your case it will be installed some dependencies and your PostgreSQL will be installed successfully so this is our main uh, main commands our installation of PostgreSQL is done no after the installation is complete we need to uh, enable our PostgreSQL services so for enabling our PostgreSQL services I am going to use sudo system ctl start and uh, here I ne we need to type our PostgreSQL so first of all you need to start our ctls so when uh, after hitting this command our uh, services are start and after the services are start we need to enable our services so for enable our PostgreSQL services we need to type sudo system ctl enable 
and uh, here we need to type our uh, postgres equal so which is postgres equal and hit enter so it will be automatically enables our services so just wait until all the services are enabled no everything is done our installation is complete and our services are also activated so you don't need to worry i will give all these command into my video description so you can just copy and paste this command from the video description or also i can provide my github gist link where you will get all of these uh, commands so you don't need to worry so our overall our database is done no our installation of database is done no if i type co postgre sql and hit enter you can see uh, still it say would uh, postgre sql command not found basically it giving us this error but you don't need to worry uh, first of all i am going to open our postgre sql so for our opening our postgre sql we need to use sudo minus i minus u and uh, here we need postgre c uh, simple type postgre uh, make sure uh, your spelling are correct and hit enter and now you can see i am into my postgre terminal so our postgres is working successfully so first of all we need to create our user so for creating the user i am going to use command create user minus minus interactive enter active hit enter so they are asking um it's giving our errors E R E A E create user minus minus I N E E R A C T I V E. Okay, so I think there is some spelling mistake. I rewrite my command which is create user minus minus interactive. So they are asking to enter our username. So in my case, I am going to give my username which uh, will be root y t. so this will be our user add hint enter now they are asking shall the new role be a super user like you want to make it super user or normal user but i want to make this root yt user a super user so for this i am just going to type y and hint enter and our user by the name of root yt has been created successfully so our first thing is done our user is created after that we need to create our database so for creating our database i am going to use again command create db c r e a t e create db so make sure your spellings are okay so after that you need to type your database name so my username is root yt and uh, the database name i am going to sign will be uh, db p s q l y t so this will be my database which is by the name of db p s q l y t and hit enter so it will be automatically create my database by the name of dbpsqlyt and my uh, user will be root yt so our user is also created and uh, our database is also created successfully so in my terminal i am going to keep the name of my user so i am just going to copy the name of my user which is root_yt like this is our user and our database name is db sql yt because later we need to use these uh, credentials for connecting our database with our web app so this will be my db name so our two things are created first of all is root yt our user uh, which will be our super user and second our database name is also created our database also created no uh, we need to assign the privileges of our database to this user so for assigning the privileges we need to enter our shell like we need to enter our postgres shell so for going to our postgres shell we need to type command psql hit enter no we are in the terminal of uh, or you can say we are in no we are in the shell of our postgres sql so first of all i will use clear command and uh, uh, here clear command is not working so i just want to clear my terminal but no don't worry so first of all we need to give the role so for giving the role i am going to use alter uh, database okay so no we are uh, since we are giving the access privileges of our database to our user so first i will for this i am going to type command alter 
database and here we need to type our database name so in my case the our database name is uh, db sql uh, db psql yt so i'm just going to paste our database name which is db psql yt after that we need to we want to make it owner so for this i'm going to use owner two and here we need to type our username so our username basically root yt this is this is basically my user and after that we need to add colon and hit enter so it will giving error because of this clear command so far this i am just going to uh, exit from my terminal i am just going to clear clear it and now again i am going to open my postgres so for again opening it i am going to use sudo minus i uh, minus u post grass so hit enter now i am in postgres so now we need to open our shell so for uh, opening our postgres equal shell just hit enter psql now i am into my postgres shell so here we need to type command this is basically clear is not part of our command so this is our main command alter database our database name owner to our username and hit enter so you can see we seeing message alter database it's mean our database is now altered and this root yt now is the official owner of this database so our alteration is done uh, so these are the main thing after that uh, i don't think so we need to change anything no you can exit it so for exiting from terminal you just need to forward slash q and no we are out of from our uh, terminal so these are the uh, things we need to assign our create our database no let's get the traditionals for our database so i am into again i am going to opening my notepad and into my notepad i am going to type all the traditionals which we required for uh, the connection connection of our database with our web app so for the connection of our database with our web app we need some things so first of all will be our engine so our engine basically uh, if you are working with frameworks like uh, django or you are working with your uh, node js or any other framework everything has its uh, like every framework has its own engine so the engine will be uh, according to your frame rules and regulation like node.js support some other things for connecting post to sql and if i am in django so the value i'm going to give in this engine will be our django.db.backends.postgresql so this is the our engine name and this engine name is by default for only but this will be only work for django like if you are in any other framework then you can use your engine according to your requirements or according to your uh, frame rules and regulation but in django mostly we use engine and this will be our engine name and this is by default like every user will be use this same engine name after that we need a name so there is the name of our database name so the database name is our in our case our database name is dbps equal yt after that we need a user so the user uh, will in our case is root yt because we officially alter our database and uh, we make this root yt the official owner of this database so this will be our user after that um, we need password so no uh, but we did not create any password for our database but no i want to create the password for my database so you can see i am already in my postgres so here uh, again I, I am going to type a command p sql no i am into my no i am in the shell of our postgres sql here uh, we are going to create a password for our uh, database so for creating the password there are just some more things like uh, there are some changes you need to do so for this uh, again we are going to uh, rewrite a new command so for this first of all we will use alteration uh, user so now we need to type our username so in our case the user we are going to use root yt and uh, with password uh, password basically we are assigning the password to our user so there will be password and here we need to type our password so in my case the password i am going to use a simple one two three four five six seven eight nine but in your case you need to use a strong password but still i am going to use simple which is alter user our username with password and here this is our password and hit enter and you can see alter role is done it's mean our uh, 
पासवर्ड कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इज़ डन नो अब ऑफिशियल पासवर्ड इज़ वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन विच यू कैन यूज़ फॉर कनेक्शन ऑफ योर डाटा बेस सो हेर आई एम गोइंग टू टाइम माई पासवर्ड विच इज़ सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सो दिस इज़ आवर पासवर्ड दीज आर द मेन थिंग वी नीड आवर डाटा बेस नेम आवर डाटा बेस यूजर आवर डाटा बेस पासवर्ड एंड आफ्टर डैट मे बी वी नीड आवर पोर्ट नंबर एंड आवर होस्ट एड्रेस सो दी होस्ट एड्रेस विल बी डिपेंड ऑन योर फ्रेमवर्क मोस्टली आई एम वर्किंग इन विद जेंगो सो इन जेंगो आवर होस्ट एड्रेस बी मोस्टली लाइक दिस लाइक दिस इज आवर होस्ट एड्रेस लाइक इफ यू हैव एनी अदर फ्रेमवर्क दैन यू कैन कन्फिगर योर होस्ट नेम अकॉर्डिंग टू योर रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड आफ्टर डैट वी नीड अ पोर्ट नंबर एंड एन नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट चांसिस आर पोर्ट नंबर इज बाई डिफॉल्ट विच इज़ फाइव फोर थ्री टू सो दीज आर द कन्फिगरेशन वी कैन यूज फॉर द कनेक्शन ऑफ आवर डाटा बेस विद आवर वेब ऐप नो इफ आई गो इन टू जेंगो एंड पुट द सेम सेटिंग फॉर द कनेक्शन ऑफ आवर डाटा बेस दैन इट विल बी स्टार्ट वर्किंग माई दिस डाटा बेस विच वी क्रिएट थ्रू दिस टर्मिनल एंड आवर डाटा बेस विल बी वर्क फाइन सो दीज आर द थिंग विच यू कैन डू फॉर क्रिएटिंग इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ पोस्ट टू डी सीक्वल डाटा बेस एंड क्रिएटिंग आवर क्रिएटिंग योर पोस्ट टू डी सीक्वल डाटा बेस नो यू हैव योर डाटा बेस क्रेडिशनल यू कैन यूज दिस क्रेडिशनल विद योर फ्रेमवर्क देर इज़ नो लिमिटेशन ऑफ योर फ्रेमवर्क यू कैन यूज यू कैन यूज दिस क्रेडिशनल विद एनी ऑफ योर फ्रेमवर्क जेंगो लेवल नोट जैस ई टी सी एंड ए टी सी सो दिस इज़ फॉर दीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग ओके अल्लाह हाफिज़